switch topics, shall we? Because after months of anticipation, Tawana Resources reported lithium concentrate production had begun at its 50% owned Bald Hill Lithium Tatalin Mine in Western Australia's eastern gold fields. This is how shares have done today. So trading lower. Let's go over to Perth now, where the managing director of Tawana Resources, Mark Calderwood, is standing by for more on this. Welcome to the program, Mark. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Nadine. Now, you've got to sort of fill in my ignorance. We're talking about lithium. We talk about it all the time. What is tantalum? A tantalum is a... Tantalum. Um, yeah, it's Apologies. a strategic metal that um, is used in capacitors and your mobile phones and, and other high, high specialty steels. Okay, so the two go hand in hand. Um, or is it a byproduct of mining for the lithium? It's a byproduct and, yeah. and it's a different mineral. We, 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 we recover it for... For at low cost and, and we go, ends up with different buyers. Okay, so when it comes to lithium, can you just give us the details of what you've announced today and how, how close you are to getting this out of the ground and onto market? So yesterday we announced um, ore commissioning, so we're starting to produce our first concentrates and uh, next month, end of next month, we expect to ship from Esperance our first um, 10,000 tonne um, parcel. Uh, to China for, for, uh, for, for where the, all the lithium concentrates are converted. Okay, and so when it comes to the big debate over lithium, it comes down to supply demand. And is there going to be too much supply in the short term to meet the demand? Um, where do you sit? Well, I don't know, to be honest. I think that the supply was, historically has been a lot slower to come on than people have expected. And I think that will be the case for a while longer. There's a couple of two more big mines coming on in Western Australia, but then not a lot in the pipeline. So mm -hmm. I think uh, supply will always be fairly tight, um, and with the odd maybe one or two years of um, of uh, excess. But uh, honestly, I think the the level of demand from the off takers or, or um, companies that want to become off takers, it's I think there's a strong demand growing. Um, and Mark, it's Nick Garling speaking in Sydney. Um, congratulations on, um, on looks like you guys are going to be the first guys to ship uh, to China, I think, from the, this lot of Australian miners. It's been a bit of a race. Thanks, um, Nick. How are you, um, you know, how are your costs going on site? And I'm not too familiar with your, with your but I, I'm a gold miner in a previous life, so I know all about producing ore on site or, or concentrate on site and trying to, trying to ship it. Um, what are your costs on site like now and how do you expect your costs in the next year to be? Yeah, obviously you've got a relatively good outlook for prices for, for the end metal. What are, what's your, what are your costs looking like? Um, so at the moment obviously we're, we're, we're still um, commissioning the plant. So within a few months we should be producing for this year at the rate of about cost of about 500 uh, US dollars a tonne. We're selling for 880. Uh, next year, those prices costs should drop down. We should drop down to, I believe, below half the the sell price. So reasonable reasonable margins, Fantastic. Uh, solid margins. And th these deposits are running at a gold equivalence for those who are gold, the gold followers of four four grams per ton, five grams per ton equivalent. So they're pretty pretty. There's a bit of margin in those. And um, can you just give us some indication as to estimated mine life? At the moment, the official mine life is three and a half years, but we'll put out a new reserve soon and, and that'll change significantly. And we've only done a year's exploration drilling. We've probably got a decade of drilling ahead of us. Uh, we're, we're going to have some pretty significant resource and reserve upgrades over the next 12 months or two years. And Mark, you've got good secure tenements over there in the west? Correct, yes. It's, uh, that's why... Australia will remain one of the world's biggest lithium producers because the, uh, the end users like the fact that it's coming from a stable country like uh, Australia and we've got about a 1,500 square kilometre land holding, so very large. All right, Mark, great to have you on. Congratulations again and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Nadine. Thank you Managing very much. Director of Tawana Resources, Mark Calderwood, he was joining us live from our Perth studio. We'll take a short break. When we return, we'll talk reporting season for small and medium caps, UBS's... Stephen Wood coming up live next.